Welcome to our short service of prayer for pilgrims. May God give you rest and peace as we pray, as St David did, that we may be joyful, keep the faith, and be faithful in the little things of life. God our Father, you gave St David to the people of Wales to uphold the faith. Encouraged by his example, may we joyfully hold fast to the things which lead into eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now just a few uh, verses of John's Gospel, John from John chapter 6. Jesus said to them, everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father that all who see the Son and believe him, believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. In these words, Jesus seeks to give reassurance to his hearers to look to him that they may know eternal life. Finding reassurance today about our living and the living of those dear to us, near and far, can be so hard. Very often all we can comfort ourselves with is hopeful statements that things will get better and wrongs will be righted. But there's often so much tragedy which comes into our reality that hope is elusive. The Jesuit Anthony de Mello once told the story which is perhaps appropriate as some now begin no mo may. It is the story of a man who took great pride in his lawn, but he found himself with a large crop of dandelions, and there are so many of them around this year. But he tried every method he knew to get rid of them, but they still plagued him. Finally, he wrote to the powers that be and told them all the things he had done to rid his lawn of their ever multiplying presence. He closed his letter with the question, What shall I do now? In due course came the reply, We suggest you learn to love them. <laughs> Was that comfort? Was that reassurance? I will let you judge. But in our lives we are constantly challenged to find hope which seems to remain elusive particularly as we come now and know the tragedy of the invasion of Ukraine. We challenge the present and try to love everything into the future, which is eternal life. It's God's future. And that is the character of our pilgrimage through life, sometimes just being and sometimes focusing on particular concerns and pains. We share this awareness with pilgrims to this place, both old and new. Anthony de Mello told another story about a Chinese farmer who had an old horse for tilling his fields. One day the horse escaped into the hills and when all the farmer's neighbours sympathised with the old man over his bad luck, he replied, bad luck, good luck, who knows? A week later, the horse returned with a herd of wild horses from the hills. And this time the neighbours congratulated the farmer on his good luck. His reply was, bad luck, good luck, who knows? Then when the farmer's son was attempting to tame one of the wild horses, he fell off its back and broke his leg. Everyone thought this was very bad luck. Not the farmer whose only reaction was, bad luck, good luck, who knows? Some weeks later, the army marched into the village and conscripted every able-bodied youth they found there. When they saw the farmer's son with his broken leg, they let him off. 
Now was that good luck? Bad luck? Who knows? Our human efforts to shape the present for the future have to be made. That can be hard, so very hard. But we also need to recognise that our present and our future is not entirely in our hands to succeed in. What we might call the will of God is all too often hidden, but tentatively taking each step forward we can pray that we will know and embrace the will of God. That is the task of the pilgrim, tentatively to take one step at a time into the future, knowing that it is God's future. And if we can learn to love the blooming dandelions on the way, then we can leave the rest to God, who will never drive us away, no matter our hiccups and stumbles. And that is it, the experience now of eternal life into which we are drawn. There are many stumbles, quite a lot of pain, and yet we are being loved into God's future. Now Will will be singing um, for today. Behold how good and joyful a thing it is, brethren, to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon a head that ran down unto the His glory, like as the Jew of Haman, which fell upon the hill of Zion, for there the Lord promised his blessing and life forevermore. Behold now. Servants of the Lord, ye that by night stand in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God, lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. of Zion. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning now and ever shall be world without end. the beauty of that music with us. Gracious God, be with us as we sojourn here on this earth in this life. Be with us. Give us courage and comfort. All we can do is hold ourselves in your presence and place before you our concerns, burdens and risky hopes. Give us your support and help us all as we live to move tentatively forward. Be with us on our way, 
and assure us of our final home in you, held by your eternal arms. Bless all pilgrims who journey here. Bless this cathedral and city community as it seeks to worship and serve here through good times and tough times. Save us from giving in to despair. Give us faith in you and your love, joy in your presence and encouragement in our search to serve. And let us pray the prayer given to the Church in the version and language of our choice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. comforts of being a pilgrim is that one can sing as one goes and uh, singing can lift the spirits um, and I'm going to sing the song now, a 19th century hymn. <clears throat> come, come with me to the old churchyard I so well know these paths neath the soft green sward. Friends slumber in there that we want to regard. We will trace out their names in the old churchyard. Mourn not for them, for their trials are o'er. Why weep for those who will weep? no more, for sweet is their sleep, though cold and hard their pillows may be in the old churchyard. I know that it's vain when friends depart to breathe kind words to a broken heart. And I know that the joy of life is marred when we follow lost friends to the old churchyard. But were I at rest neath yonder tree, why would you weep, my friends, for me? I'm so weary, so wayworn, why would you retard? the peace that I seek in the old churchyard. Why weep for me, for I'm ready to go to that haven of rest where no tears ever flow, and I fear not my fate when it's time to depart. I will sail with the sun in the old churchyard. I rest in the hope that one bright day sunshine will burst through these prisons of clay and the trumpets will sound on the hills near and far will wake up the dead in the old churchyard. 19th century spirituality which gave hope, and may still give hope. Now a prayer of blessing, as you might stay a while and enjoy this holy place, and do come forward for anointing, for healing and peace, if you so desire. Gracious God, awaken in us the zeal of your servant, St. David, 
that we may joyfully journey with you in singleness of heart. Let us go on our way with your strength, confidence, courage and hope. And may the blessing of our gracious God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Live embraced by God with love and peace within you.